Okay, so for this last part, I started this and it didn't it didn't work. And so I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna try it again and see if it works. And if not, you're not gonna see any of these because I'm just not gonna do this part. Um, it says, uh, I had to reread it. So it says, make the imaginary parts equal. So I highlighted the imaginary parts. So the imaginary parts are um, the 18BI right here, 18BI, and then these two. Those are the imaginary parts. So I want those to be equal. So what I did is I set them equal to each other right here. So 18BI, 243B, plus uh, b to the third. Uh, so I've got that right there. All right, I crossed the i's out because I don't care about the i's. I just want the b values to be equal. I want everything to be equal and there's an i every place. So I can think of it as dividing out an i or I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't care about it. All right, so I end up with this right here. And then I was looking at it and I'm thinking, all right, well, I could maybe factor this, um, but we didn't do factoring yet. So probably I can't do that. So I can put it into my calculator and I can see where they cross, which is what I was trying to do. And then it froze my calculator, so I had to stop the video. Um, so I'm going to put an 18x into the first one. And I'm going to put 243x plus uh, x to the third. No, negative. x to the third in there. All right, so there is my, um, there's my thing. If I hit graph, it draws two really weird looking lines. And it's because uh, the two, the 18, the 18 B is the blue line. The 18 X is the blue line. It's just a really, really steep line. The 243 X plus X to the third, the second one, that's a, it's a third power equation. It's, it's gigantic. All right. It's really, really, really big. It's really steep. It's really big. Um, so I'm looking for where these two things intersect. So what I can do is I can go to the calculate button and I can calculate an intersect. Now this would be a little tricky here. I can tell that they actually intersect right there. So first curve is the blue one. Second curve is the red one. Yes. I'm going to just move that little pink guy over there someplace. I hit enter. All right. And it intersects at zero, zero. All right. So one of the intersections is B equals zero. There are other ones. And when we factor it, you'll learn how to do that. All right. So it's, it intersects at B equals zero. And if you're not sure, 18 times zero is zero. 243 times zero plus zero to the third is zero. All right, so zero works. There are two other values for this. All right, but zero works. This is not important. If you made it to this video, don't worry about this because we're gonna learn about this if we do it later on.